Hello lovely people. Welcome to my channel. I am Sky. Today I am bringing to you one of the Congolese favorite dish which is cassava leaves with beans. So I am going to go through with you how you can make cassava leaves with beans. This is one of the Congolese favorite dishes as I said. So we're going to start by using 500 gram of beans. So I'm going to use two packs and then I use brown beans. So cooking this food is more effective when you use the brown beans or some people use white beans but I prefer brown beans. So I'm going to use, I'm using two pack of, uh, two packs of um, 500 grams of beans so as you can see i washed my bean i just rinsed it and i'm going to add two cups of water and the measure of these cups of water is one liter but actually to be honest it depends of the the size of the beans you're using so with the size of the beans i'm using so i'm going to start boiling my beans with uh, two cups of uh, one liter so it's like two liters all right so i'm going to add salt and then this video i use the sea salt one tablespoon of sea salt and two bay leaves so bay leaves is very very important for your food and i'm going to make a video on what's the fact the importance of using bay leaves in your food but for now so after 30 minutes as you can see my beans still boiling i'm just coming back and checking so i can see my the water is reducing so i'm going to leave it for another 15 minutes and come back as you can see the water are the water is really is really reduced so i'm going to get the process of moving the top beans on the bottom and the bottom on the top so i always use this method seen by mom doing <laughs> so i just you know shake the pot and then rotate it up and down but if you're not you know kind of feel safe about it you're not confident to do that you can use your wooden spoon to rotate your beans up and down or mix it up so i'm going to add another cups of water to just allow my beans to cook now and this time guys you need to cook your beans in a low heat as you can have so i'm going to use the low heat here to allow your beans to cook nicely softly one by one rather than having one harder and another one softer so we're going to use the low heat after 15 minutes as you can see they're all cooked nicely because what happens if you cook your beans with the higher heat they're not going to cook properly some of them are going to be hard some of them are going to be soft so i'm going to get the process of getting my cassava leaves ready and then you can see there was already defrosted so i left them since morning outside so i'm going to take them off the pack and then i use two bags of um two bags of cassava leaves and i can see i'm showing you how my beans are really properly cooked but not really are uh, ready now to put the cassava leaves in so i'm going to pour my cassava leaves on the top this is the method that people who are originally the tribe in there's one tribe in congo who are specialists in cooking this recipe is this recipe it was created like from them so that's how they cook cassava leaves and beans so you, i don't boil it different pot and mix it up i cook it like this that's how they cook it and i learned from them so i'm going to mix it up together and i'm going to after mixing it together so i'm going to leave it to cook again and then adding one um, just little bowl of water to just allow the beans and the uh, cassava leaves to boil properly but you need to bring your heat back to normal not very high 
not very low but you need it normal now so to allow your beans and cassava leaves to cook so in this place now you to know the cassava leaf the beans are cooked but we need to cook the cassava leaves guys don't use spoon when you're doing this it's very bad because it's gonna make your food smelling funny you need the the cassava leaves to cook properly before you use a spoon inside and i advise you to use a wooden spoon so i'm going to you can see after a few minutes the they're all mixed together properly so i'm going to go on the process of uh, cooking my palm oil so we're using a lot of palm oil in these dishes that's how it's supposed to be so i'm using this palm oil i find it nice but you can find better one as well if you have one you can see you like it doesn't have to be only this palm oil and i can show you with the size of the quantity of food i'm cooking i'm using 500 milliliter of uh, palm oil so i'm going to allow my palm oil to cook nicely as you can see the smoke start coming up and you can see your palm oil the color are uh, like going a little bit clearer than red so which telling you that your palm oil is cooked properly while i'm waiting i'm going to start chopping my onions as you can see now as i was saying my palm oil is really cooked properly and then by now i already chopped my onions so i'm going to place them inside my palm oil to just cook them so i'm going to cook them and then i'm going to mix nicely and just to get them all to get into the oil and cook properly so while i'm doing this guys i'm going to go and check my cassava my cassava leaves and then i forgot to tell you guys we do call this in my language sakamadesu that's how we call it <laughs> Sakamadesu is really really nice. I love this food. This is one of my favorite dish. So I use one uh, tablespoon of jimbo, not really fully, but nearly to full. Like yeah, one two one tablespoon of jimbo. So and uh, to give it that flavor, because I remember I used the uh, one spoon of um of uh, sea salt. And that was just to boil to get the beans together, salt inside, and in order to give it a nice flavor. So now, because I added the cassava and all that, so I think it's going to be nice to use jimbo as well to add the flavor, the flavor on the top. So I'm going to mix it up, as you can see, to get the beans and the cassava to mix nicely together. So before I add my my palm oil and onions inside you don't need too much when you're cooking this recipe guys don't go and get meat or something to put inside you don't need it this is vegetarians can have these vegans can have these is it's just natural you just you don't need too much to be honest you only get too much inside you destroy the taste of it so this is how i cook my cassava leaves and then i'm going to leave it to boil together and I say everything's going to be done after 30 minutes my cassava leaves and beans is cooked guys this is very nice it tastes really nice and when you finish cooking it like this as you can see when I was mixing the onions and palm oil I did not add water on the top because there was water already in the pot so we just use that water in the pot and then you can see it looks a little bit with soup on it but don't worry after a few minutes i'm going to show you this soup is going to get reduced because they're going to blend and become very solid as well so you need to bear that in mind you know the little soup because they're going to soup because they're going to be they're going to turn to solid later as you can see look i did not take them away but look at how they are now they're sticky now because they stick together now so i'm going to serve this with rice that's how we always do it most of the time we eat it with rice but you can eat it with fufu kwanga whatever side 
you want to have with thank you for watching guys thank you very much i really appreciate you watching all right see you next time comment below how you cook your sakamadesu and try my method you're going to love it thank you bye